This is the Pythonic Accountant, and today I've got some resources for you to take a look at. So Ethan Mollick, one of the top voices in generative AI and AI in general, has some great resources he's made available. First off is his book, which I highly recommend, called Co-Intelligence. came out in April, and it's just a really good book about generative AI and how it can be used and will likely be used in the workforce and in education. The next is a really rich set of prompts in this prompt library that he has been actually maintaining quite well. Main focus on education, but a few other prompts as well. And I think that some of the education prompts would work really well in a uh, work setting as well for trainings. And finally, some other resources. I'm not going to go into any of those, uh, but there looks like some YouTube videos, which I've seen. This one is really good, but definitely recommend you check it out. They're at moreusefulthings.com. So in the prompt library, I'm going to click in and there are a few different exercises. Uh, there's a few different sections, rather. There's the student exercises, the uh, instructor aids, and then just some other prompts. Right now, I'm gonna focus on student exercises, and just for fun, we're gonna try one out called AI Mentor Gives Feedback. And so this is the actual prompt that we're gonna just copy and paste. And basically, he doesn't really give explanation of what it is, you kinda of have to read it to get that context. But, you know, the title pretty much tells it, you know, it's an AI mentor that gives feedback on literally anything. So I think what we'll do is we'll pretend we're using this in a work setting. And so we're going to go ahead and put this in. We're using Claude 3.5 Sonnet, which is the latest and greatest Claude um, model. And it's quite fast and quite powerful. So let's go ahead and work with this. So hello there, I'm your AI mentor I'm here to help you with your assignment. Excited to work with you and provide feedback. I have a few questions for you. What's your current level of education? So I'm going to say um, one professional I'm taking a training at work at a uh, uh, let's see, consulting firm. And then shift return to. Uh, can you tell me a specific assignment? Um, I'm writing an email to a uh, to my boss describing what I've found in my uh, analysis. Okay, it's great to hear engage in professional development. I'll help you further with your assignment with a few questions or a specific grading rubric. Um, so I'll say uh, no. Tell me about the goal of the assignment. The goal is to have uh, the message clear and concise with good grammar and spelling and um, active voice and uh, professional. And then four, what do you have to achieve with the email to your boss? The goal with the email specifically is to let them know we found some major issues with the Accounting transactions and have recommendations uh, for next steps and list out those recommendations. Okay, provide the draft email of me. Let's have the contacts. Okay, um, <laughs> so now we're going to have some fun. I'm going to go ahead and grab another instance of Claude AI and I'm going to have it give me a really bad draft of an email and we're going to use that to see how it does okay so uh, let's say write me a very poorly written uh, draft email to my boss Probably letting them know Found some major issues with the accounting transactions at Acme Inc. And have recommendations for next steps. Those are recommendations. Let's see, be sure to use passive voice, run on sentences, bad grammar, um, vague wording, etc. And we're gonna take this email <laughs> and put it into the exercise to see what kind of feedback it gives us. 
perfect. All right, let's go ahead and grab this. Go back here. And then I'll say regards, Pythonic accountant. This actually doesn't look like it's that bad, but we'll definitely see what kind of feedback we get. Clarity and conciseness. It's quite wordy and it could be more direct. Many sentences are long, contain repetitive information. Try to get to the point more quickly, eliminate unnecessary words. There are a few minor issues. Oh, spelling issues like accounting. Good job. Overall grammar is mostly correct. That email uses passive voice, which could be switched to active. And the tone is generally professional, but there's vagueness in some statements and informal language. Content and structure. Subject line can be more specific. Clipping paragraph is too long. Recommendations lack specificity. Closing can be stronger. Here's an annotated version of your email of specific suggestions. Interesting. Okay. Ah, I like it. So it gave some recommendations here. It didn't actually rewrite the email for me, but it gave me some suggestions and it's asking how I'm going to plan on uh, acting on those suggestions. Cool. Really neat. Um, I'm going to ignore them and just send it. Just kidding. I'll rewrite it with all your suggestions. <laughs> Let's see what it says here. <laughs> it ignored my cheeky comment. Could you walk me through your plan for writing the email? Wow, it's actually trying to dig in here. Which part of the feedback do you think will be most challenging? Let's see. Hmm. I'm going to say the recommendations. Keeping the recommendations clear and concise will be the hardest part, I think. Let's see what it says. And we could go on for a while, so I'm going to say, okay, we're done here. Thanks. And I think it's supposed to give me some feedback at the end. Oh, guess not. <laughs> Anyways, well, that was kind of cool. It definitely was helpful and a little bit different feel than just using a regular prompt to ask it for, you know, assistance with an email. It did seem like it was slightly more, you know, like a simulation, which is the goal here. So pretty cool. Anyways, um, recommend you check these out. There's some pretty interesting prompts and they can be really helpful, especially if you're looking to, you know, get a little bit more education and use it for either a work professional setting or school setting. Thank you. We'll see you at the next video.